Hi guys, I am miles away from sunny Spain, but before I reveal my new location, let me show you how I get there. And so, as you know, I was stuck in Spain during the lockdown, not being able to travel because of the restrictions. And you would think, oh, stuck in Spain, this is incredible. But if you are limited to where you can go and where you cannot go, it just got too much to see. The same thing all over again. So I was contemplating, shall I stay here for a little bit longer, wait till the world falls back into the normal place? But seeing what's happening in a world that things actually becoming much more worse, I came to the conclusion that I need to do something about it. Just before we head away, we went on the last evening trip, saying the last goodbyes to our beautiful town, Vera Playa. Only to arrive 800 kilometers further down the coast in Empuria Brava. The initial plan was actually to travel along the coastline very slowly towards the border. But as the restrictions in Spain are really tough and I tell you what, now I've seen that police patrols are everywhere stopping randomly every other car. Although I had a reason because I'm leaving Spain, I didn't want to push my luck. And just did what the law-abiding citizens normally do. Just stayed on the motorway, driving nicely down to the location where I had made an appointment to do a COVID test. And after my nostrils were destroyed, I had to wait for the answer. Therefore, I decided to stay in camping. Just for the security reasons, what a lovely place, I tell you. And it wasn't expensive at all. And the main thing that the beach was just 100 meters away, giving me and Snoopy a good opportunity to go for the last Spanish walk. So I decided to have a beer, there's fish and chips. Gotta tell you, the French fries were super salty. So if they are watching this video at some point, please don't put so much salt on those potatoes. And yet, the next morning, waiting eagerly to find the results to see if I can cross the border or not. Turned out that I can travel across the border safely. As the border was just there, so we entered France, no police checks, nothing. I decided to stop on a motorway lay-by just to see if life is happening over there. And as you can see, the car park was completely empty, but the toilets were open. So we had the breakfast in a van. As I had bought a lot of croissants in Spain, I just ate those. And in the next lay-by we found this awesome, awesome woodland with the lake and everything. So Snoopy had a good walk and then it was dark already. So we decided to stop in this car park for the lorries. But as there was so much grass for Snoopy to have his evening walk, uh, I just decided to stay there. I felt safe and I always go with the feeling. If I feel safe, I'm happy I stay. If I don't feel good about the place, I go away. But I felt very safe there between my big brothers looking after me. And then in the morning in France, yes, it was minus one degree in a van. That was a big surprise, a big change from Spain. But even though what a beautiful, beautiful morning it was. And it was then when the crazy idea came to my head what if instead of me looking for another clinic and doing another test for the next countries i need to cross i can actually use the same test and make through all countries in 72 hours and as from this decision i don't have any more footage to show you guys from the trip of hell because it was just basically driving 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 pushing my limits as hard and crazy as it was, so I did. Over 4,000 kilometers in three days. Why not? But I cannot put in words how awfully tired, exhausted I was. But then in the same time, properly relieved, which allowed me to have a good night's sleep just after the border in an abandoned car park. In the other times, I would probably think twice before I park my van there for night. And what an amazing feeling to wake up to beautiful sunshine in my own country. 
after that, of course, I needed to drive for another few hours to reach the final destination, basically the place where I will be self-isolating myself for 10 days, as the Latvian law says. And what's the best place for that, if not a countryside? No people, no hassle, no mask requirements, plenty fresh air, nature, peace and quiet. And after having a long, long dog walk, me and Snoopy called the night in. And that was the best feeling ever, knowing that we don't have to drive the next morning again. Thank you so much for watching. Put the thumbs up, comment in the comment box what you think of my crazy trip. And yeah, wait for the next video, because now that I'm back in my country, I will show you loads of Slavic life. This place is amazing. I mean, this country is amazing.